In this video, I want to uh, start uh, with a uh, database where I had set up a switchboard to control the workflow all the way from adding new data to data table <coughs> one that we're showing here, and it's schedulers, time uh, out, and then time delivered, something like that, upon which we have a query that we had established, and in the third column of the query, um, we had simply typed in the title of the column, time difference uh, in minutes, a colon, and then the formula, average, open all the parentheses to begin these. And then the square brackets here, uh, open and close square brackets, we're referring to specific column headers, simple mathematic formula, uh, delivered uh, minus the timeout to get a time difference. Um, the format, as you saw, was in date uh, and uh, time in this uh, format. And then <clears throat> times 24 and times 60, so that calculated it to the minutes. Um, then here, um, under criteria for time out, uh, we have added something new. It's just a parameter argument. Uh, we want it to be <clears throat> to select when we run this query we want to select from that table uh, between a, uh, a user input uh, start and date start date and time and then and an end date and time so say it's first thing in the morning everything's going in here and so far it's always the same but I've got it from uh, 12 30 a.m. I did change it up a bit um, down here there's a navigation pane uh, to take it to the bottom. I'm just going to scroll down to uh, 6.33 uh, p.m. So note that format because when we uh, activate the query um, we would be doing that. So we had uh, um, I found a, a video. This is for setting the parameters. Um, so, so, that's mine. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, here, this video, uh, applying conditional formatting and rules and things like that. So I was watching this uh, to set up a report um, and then uh, use conditional formatting. Some pretty cool stuff here. Um, this is uh, 2013. I'm using 2007. But anyway, um, <clears throat> when they had their query highlighted, in here, they simply clicked on report, and that's what I had done. We can do it again here. Click on query, uh, create, just go to report. Well, we already got one currently open. Anyway, <clears throat> um, close that. <clears throat> so, uh, again, uh, with that query selected, we just click on report. And uh, now it's going to prompt us for the times you want to put in. So remember it was uh, 7, 28, 2018. When you put these into your uh, queries, um, uh, anytime you want to do something with the query, it's going to prompt you for that. Uh, so this is the format, and we want it from 6.30 a.m. And I'm going to go to the end date. That again... And, and again, depending upon what you have in the the record, you pull out what you need here. Um, I can't remember what it was. 6.55 p.m. So everything has to match as far as I understand it. <clears throat> and see, so it pulled that out. So this is a new query. Uh, we can click on any one of these and adjust it in. This again is from that video. I'll post a link to that video. Uh, we want to stretch this out. You might notice that this approach to setting up the, the report was uh, prettier than the, the SWASH report I had set up before. And then here's the, the time difference. <coughs> uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, do it here. You click on this. Any one of these cells, go to conditional formatting, and then you set up here the field value is between greater than whatever. I'm going to do greater than 30. Uh, these are conditional 
traditional standard uh, conditional formatting things that you can do here. Uh, in that video, they show a new feature where you can add in another column and it creates these bars. I'll show you that in just a moment. So I'm going to bold it, set it in red in the background, the text to a bolded white. And then we see it automatically will do that. You can click on one of these rows and then uh, shift left arrow. No, sorry. Uh, how did it do it? What is it doing? That's what I want to do. What are you doing? Um, how can you do it? There's a way to, oh yeah, and then click. That's it. Not the shift and then click to select a row. Then you can go to conditional format and do the same thing. Uh, except here you put in uh, an expression and it was what did they do hey <laughs> uh, I think it was greater than how was it written I have to go to the video to see it here because <laughs> I forgot anyway you, you put in your um, command in there and get to it. That one's comparing to another one. That's where they got the bars. Um, and then they were able to do the whole row. Selected the whole row. Expression is. Ah, there it is. I was doing it wrong. Uh, again, the square brackets here refer, referring to a uh, particular column. So we have to put the name of that column in there, or the column header, diff, exactly as it appears. Otherwise, it can't match it, I guess. And then greater than 30, the same condition we had before. Set it at bold, red background, white, or however you want to do it. And now the whole row lights up. Uh, so that's the way that uh, um, I generated that. Um, you saw how we re, uh, set up the uh, query uh, for it. Uh, <clears throat> we can save this. Uh, report query, whatever it is, to. <clears throat> and look at it in report view. There it is, right? And um, you can set up. Uh, again, here in the switchboard, we can close this. We can do our design layout on the switchboard. We can um, add text or even just um, we could go in here and, and copy and paste this and edit it to refer to uh, that new report. You know, rename these for buttons that are going to particular reports. Just copy and paste these and create new ones or whatever uh, to... Um, you know, put whatever ones you want in there. You can even create other switchboards and link between switchboards uh, with buttons that you create and stuff like that. Um, all would depend upon the um, the manager's uh, preferences and desires uh, and the ease of the user. You know, these might be best numbered and in a numerical sequence to keep people on track, things of that sort. Anyway, that's how you can generate a report uh, on a query. <coughs> and then, of course, this can be uh, saved and things of that sort. So I hope you find that uh, useful for the conditional formatting. And again, even the SWASH report, <coughs> oh, it's now referring to that query too. So SWASH report is going to do the same thing there. And I, I'll just leave it at that for now uh, and hope you... Uh, uh, I found this to be useful.